All right, people. It is the day. The day to actually put everything back together and get this thing driving. So today what I'm gonna do, put the wheels on right now, find the other hood hinge, because I don't know where it went, put that on, and then lock the hood in place, slam it shut, start it, back it up, and then hit the road. And also find the place, because I don't know where they're at. I just got it registered today, or I got the, I got the tags today for it, but I don't know where the plates are at. So hopefully we can find those and we'll be good to go. But let's get started. Let's knock this out. Let's put the wheels on. Let's go, baby. All right, Tor, what done happened? All right. So Trav and them thought that the uh, brake lights were stuck on again uh, before, but figured it out. So if you go in there, underneath on the brake light switch, it was getting caught up on the steering column, which I have no idea why, but it, it got caught up there. So I just moved it up. I kind of moved it to where it won't hit again. So now we're good to go. Just got to find the plates. I don't think I bring the plates. So I'm kind of screwed on that. I could probably try to drive just to test drive it and have you behind me and then just do the plates there, huh? We can. But look at the tags. Look at those. Look at the tags. Look at the <laughs> 2002 boy i don't know i mean we can i can try yeah i might have to stop by a gas station or something but let's put on these lights tail lights and let's see what we got going on let's go new tail lights call for new seals Ooh. bam boy look at that Ooh. it's ready i don't know why this has like a Ugh. look at that cracked and stuff Oh, nasty. <laughs> this just fell apart. Well, good thing I got no ones. Now it's about to look amazing. 10 times better. We'll be good to go, baby. I wonder how it's going to look when I actually hit the brakes. Let's go. <laughs> it's dark, but there it is. Look, like stuck on the side of the road, man. Now I won't even start it, won't crank over. I didn't change out the TPS. That might be it. I'm, I'm hoping that that's it because that's an easy fix. But when I try to crank it right now, it made like a like a burning sound. Like it sounded like it, it was like eh, and then it, it just wouldn't crank or it cranked and cranked and cranked. It wouldn't it wouldn't turn over pretty much. It would just crank and crank and crank after that happened. So I don't know. Maybe there is a short somewhere. It said that the engine light cuts on when the freaking I throw it in the first gear only. Like not when I press in the clutch, but when I throw it in the first, it goes. So. I don't know. Let's see. I'm about to go ahead and uh, give Torn a tow. Yeah, with the Honda. The guy's going to bump my back bumper right now. <laughs> to get us up that hill. Look at that. Man, that hill about to beat this Honda up, man. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Let's go, though. Right. So, back out here again. Um, Well, today on this thing, uh, I'm going to unplug the dual electric fans just to see if that would cause anything because i have the regular alternator i completely forgot i had that um but i'm gonna unplug the electric fans just to see if it will still do what it's doing which is messing up idle and not cutting on and not trying to start um i don't know if it's the tfi module because last night it wouldn't even start it would crank but it would not fire up so i bump started after which i mean if your tfi module is out you can't even bump start it but I don't know. But yeah, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna plug that and I'm gonna crank it over and I'm gonna see what's going on with that. And also, I ripped the boot last night because I did not want to take it out because those bolts are hidden. 
And I gotta take all this back off again just to get to there. So I'll buy another one. But as you can see, you can see that pinch right there. It was causing me not to be able to go into gear from second, fourth, or reverse. Cause this bolt kept getting loose. Cause this car vibrates a lot. So the bolt was getting loose and uh, wouldn't let me go into gear. So I'm gonna put some Rifkin Loctite on this so it'll never come out, never get loose, never get anything. I got these coming in brand new um, from late model. I don't know, I'm, it's not a sponsorship. It's just I'm buying. You know, it's the only place I actually found it. I found it on eBay too. I got this one coming in too, because this is cracked right here and it's broken in half. And one of these keeps popping out. Forget which one it is. And also both of the turn signal uh, connectors, both of those. So got those coming in and then we'll see how long they take to get here. And also with this, I got this brake switch um, zip tied because when I would hit the brakes, as you can see, it would get caught right there onto this metal piece on the steering column. It would get caught and the lights would stay on. So I zip tied it. Hopefully that fixed it, but we'll see. Let me get this bolt locked in. We'll see if that unplugging the dual electric fans would uh, help it or not. If not, I'm gonna do the TPS. So let's get started. It's in the code somewhere. It's probably the EGR to unplug the look. It revs up without me being on the throttle. Look, I throw it in first. It's in every gear. Watch. In a second. Why would the why the fuck would it do that? That is an A9P. That is out of a 91 or a 90, I believe. That one I took the chip out. I took the chip out, but now look at it. Oh. Wow, I wasn't gonna start. already started but my eyes about to yank down the tranny on me gotta get to this top sensor because when i was unplugging it it was it was acting up so dropping this down again once again fourth time probably but hopefully that's it and this is the last time let's get it baby and it is down look at that so is that okay i'm gonna try to see if i can reach up in there and actually get it without taking it completely down but we'll see let's try so just to give y'all a little insight, this is what that sensor looks like. Yeah, this one's a little broken, but it might work. I want to try it. I don't know what this is called. Maybe I could, maybe it's a neutral safety switch. I think so, because that's the reason why it probably didn't start. But I'm going to take this one out on this one. I'm going to put it in, put the training up, started with just straight headers, see if that fixes the issue. If it does, then I'll just go buy a new one. So we pulled this one off of a spare T5 we had sitting in the back. So we got this one. We're going to try it out. Pull that one out. Hopefully we have enough space. If not, we're going to have to fully drop the tranny, but. I don't want to do that. <laughs> definitely don't want to do that. It's only four more bolts away, but it's definitely a big, a big pain to do it. It sure is because I definitely don't want to pull it all the way down. <laughs> so hopefully. Let's go. I do not have Torrin's little tiny hands. So he's the one trying to reach back up there. Oh, I'm gonna have to use it. I'm gonna have to use these. The vice grips? Yep. Let me see. Uh, it's way back there. <laughs> when you make those faces, you know you're trying. It keeps slipping too. It's like right there. <laughs> All that because of that little plug. So let's try to get that out. Here's the AC. Ah. Ah. You can see it from here now, Isaac. Wonder what would be wrong with it. Let's get it going. Let's get this off and let's put the other one in. There's our whole problem right there. Hopefully. Now, this is it. It better not be nothing wrong on the inside or something. The transmission messed up to work. Because when I got the transmission, this was cut. And I just ended up using something from Isaac's old tranny. <clears throat> so, what? What the? Oh, what was that? Oh, what is this? Let me see. Show the camera. What is that? I don't know. Is there something in there? There's a little hole. It looks like that little thing's supposed to go in there or something. Yeah, but maybe that was the problem the whole time. So, we got the tranny back up. At least the uh, tranny mount. We're about to go ahead and give this a shot. Got the wires all plugged in. Exposed headers or open headers, so. We gonna be pretty loud. As you can see, the, the drive shaft is still sagging, but this is just a test. Test number one. 
torn hooking everything back up in the engine bay. So let's give this a shot. Hopefully this works, fingers crossed. We can get this thing on the road. Final words, Torn. Huh? Pretty God. Pretty God. Well, we ain't starting without this being hooked up, so. Now, keep in mind, it's gonna be loud. We got James Brown bumping in the background, but pay no mind to that. And Pop's up there waiting the mountain, so. Whacking away. Whacking away. All right, you ready? Yeah. You already plugged it in? Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be loud. Just a quick reminder, y'all. That's that monster jam stuff right there. <laughs> hey, this stuff was struggling to start, and every time he was shifted, I'm sure Torn explained it to y'all. Every time he was shifted, it would either die or the RPMs would spike. Just jump up. All it was was this little piece in there. This is what came out of the transmission in the first place. So that's probably why those guys cut it in the beginning, because I was wondering why somebody would just cut that. But it's cut because of this little piece that was stuck in there. So I'm good to go. I'm gonna plug everything back in. God damn, man, this is like 15 times already this transmission that came down. Probably gotta drop it again in the future, probably. <laughs> we got jinx myself. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's put this back up together. So we're gonna put the exhaust, the drive shaft back up, plug everything up. Should we test drive it? If there's daylight. I mean, I got light. I still have plates. <laughs> I don't get my plates. We may take it around the block or not, but we'll see. Let's get back to it. All right, y'all. I got a little boo-boo right there. Well, I think my finger got pinched, but um, as you can see, we got this back on the ground. We got everything hooked up. Except for the battery. Uh, he, was a, he, was, he was supposed to show you guys the start, and he ain't even... He forgot the battery. Look at who, whose man is this? Look at this guy. He's so excited to start it. Look at him. He forgot the whole battery. Look. Who finds that type of stuff? It was just a little pin inside the transmission. That is so weird. But if you do have that problem in the future, well, there you go. Check that out. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> All right. We're gonna have to something. Do it. Now, we ain't got no issues, babe. Except for the starter, that's nasty. That's nasty. When it starts perfectly fine, doesn't drop idle when it starts once to die. Listen to that, listen to that. But it is idling good now. Now look, check this out. Watch me throw it in gear, and it doesn't do anything no more, baby. Ah! 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 Go forward, go forward. Show them a little bit. There you go. Oh, dang, he got, the, I didn't even know he got the lights on. Look at this guy. <laughs> he's ready to go. Hey, you can put the tail lights on and everything. You was you like ready that? to go, huh? You like that? <laughs> so this, uh, wh what is that? What is that plug? No brakes right now. None. None. Check out that booster. What? I gotta figure this out. It keeps on oh, plugging. Man. I gotta figure this out right now, cause uh, that is that's a no go. We'll have to get a looser one. That's yeah, and something probably like a little U shape to where this faces down. This goes all the way down and up. Cause it sh it shakes like this and just pulls it out. Why does it shake like that? You know what I'm saying that's that beast mode. That's that 363 stroker up in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> High compression, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm lying. But it's because I got the stock uh, the stock um, motor mounts. I needed high energies. But might be driving this, homie. You know what I'm saying? I might, <laughs> he might be driving call this home. tomorrow. <laughs> 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 he might he may Uber here tomorrow. You know? Cause dude. How do you find that? And then on top, you gotta take down a tranny just to get to it. And as soon as I pulled it out, did you get that on camera? As soon as yeah. I pulled it out? Yeah? I, I think I did. We did get that. Yeah, it just thing. popped right or out. I, That's I, another I, video. I, I, at least at least it popped and you heard it drop. Yeah. Who wow. Amazing. 
I was confused. I was like, is it the is it the TPS? Because it, it shuts off. We it swapped snow. out the, the MAF, the TPS. We disconnected the fans. We were disconnected the MAF. We were troubleshooting everything. Boy, and I was going to do the distributor next. I was going to take it all out, redo the timing. Stupid. Look, the, the, this man but was look, close. He was close. Was close <laughs> he was close to driving this off of a cliff, too. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It's crazy because I did something way stupid exactly. there you go pops, Pop, pops hey, got it. Pops hey got but look it. it got it though because i took down a transmission i'd rather do a distributor all day than a transmission but that was the issue i kind of like troubleshooted it to where i, I unplugged it what, what, what's that up. what's that plug called the cl clutch neutral uh, cl yeah the clutch neutral safety it's the neutral safety switch for the five speeds and i try to I, it's on late model they got it on late model uh cj pony parts and stuff like that but that wasn't it, and I yanked it out. Your your old tranny, so I thought that was good. Yeah, and my, and, and my car was running perfectly fine. Just my tranny went out. But 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 like this car, like it would struggle to turn on, and then anytime he would shift, it turn off or it would idle weird and it wouldn't start sometimes. Like yeah, it just wouldn't even start. And then like uh, when I got the tranny, they cut those wires because they were probably having that same issue, but. I mean, I wouldn't know to yank out that little piece because I didn't have a spare. Luckily, we got a spare yeah. training on the side to where yeah, I can we see. Yeah, we have one or two T5s laying around. So I'm going to roll it forward again and roll it backwards to see if it if it starts up pretty decently because that was unplugged, so that's a huge vacuum leak. Maybe that would have uh, no, 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 high no, no, idle when we started. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to start it and roll it. Let's see it. But so I figured out a way because that that brake hose kept coming loose, the booster hose to the intake. That's what gives me my uh, my vacuum. I bought this at O'Reilly's. This was twenty one dollars or twenty two dollars because of the bends. I bought another hose for three bucks. That's two feet of hose. Check out what I done did. I done wrapped it all the way around so it could fit perfectly. It's because this is ninety five booster. The 94, 95 booster is way bigger. So it's it's super close to the intake. So I just wrapped it underneath the master cylinder and straight shot right into the intake, baby. So if I'm getting that shaking on, you know what I'm saying? It got extra tension to just go this way. So we're good to go. Let's roll, baby.
torque, baby. <laughs> Start back on this. Uh, any suggestions on the spray booster? Let us know. Um, before, if I'm not mistaken, when we yanked the motor out, it was getting caught up on the booster. If I remember correctly, maybe this was the wrong one. But if this little piece right here that's on top, but it got caught up on the top piece and it bent up, and we ended up bending it back and it'd be perfectly fine. Maybe I'm tripping, maybe I'm not, but I don't know if that would interfere with the, the actual bleeding of the system or actually having air consistently now in the flow of the, the power steering fluid within the flow of everything. So I don't know, maybe that's just a bleeder. I don't know, but any suggestions, let us know. And let's go. That's about it. That wraps up today's video. Catch you guys next week. Runs good. And everything just idling issues but that's easy to fix and probably just take out the chip that's in there already but uh yeah catch you guys next week ah, all right it's because i'm not by myself anymore all right <laughs> stay we out